Hello everyone, welcome to the Laravel series. In this video, we will learn about creating controllers and fetch the data of the database using controllers. In the last video, we have discussed about the eloquent model and we used the tinker to create the commands and to fetch the data. We will be writing the same commands in this controller and we will access the data on the website. So let's start coding. First, let's open web.php file and write web.php. So basically web.php file is used for routing and we will be routing to get the data from the table. So first of all, I'll be defining a route. So I'll route route colon colon get and then we will define on which URL to open that web page. So I'll write, let's say if I want to display all the products, I'll write products and then it will call products controller or say product controller. Then it will call some function inside the controller. Say the name is index function. So we have written the route now. And now we need to create this controller, product controller. So I'll just open the CMD and the command to create controller, we already know that it is php artisan make colon controller and then the controller name. The controller name is product controller. Press enter and it will create a new controller in the project. The controller file gets created inside the controllers folder which is provided in HTTP inside controllers directory. We have this file called product controller. So this file has been created successfully. Now the code will be written inside this file. So in web.php we have called index function and we will write that index function inside this product controller. So I'll be writing function then index then after that we'll write curly braces and let's say i'll just test it out by write, returning hello so this is very good example or you can say it is a very good practice that you need to test whether this function is getting called or not if it is getting called successfully it will return hello otherwise you will get an error so it is very use very useful for debugging your code so I'll just go and check my web.php again and I'll switch on the Laravel server. To switch on the Laravel server, we use the command php artisan, we write serve. This will start the development at this URL that is 127.0.0.1 Let's open this 127.0.0.1 colon 8000 slash then we have used products if i press enter let's see it get it's getting loaded so i have got the result as hello that means my function is getting called successfully and i can change the code now so to access the records in the database as we have already seen in the last video that we have to create a new object or we have to use all method to get all the records from that table. So I'll be using slash app slash project sorry slash product then we will write colon colon all. This all function will get all the records from the table and let's store it inside some variable say products. So I have stored it inside some variable and I'll be returning this variable on the browser. So it's simple. First we have written the URL in the web.php. We have created routing and then inside the controller we have written this function inside which we are writing the return statement which is returning all the records from that table. So let's save it and let's go to the browser again and just hit enter and it has to display all the records in my table on the browser. So let's see and wait what gets uh, the result. 
so this is the result that we got after running this command and i got two records because i was having two records in my table so the very it's coming inside the json format and it is coming in pretty format because i have already installed json formatter if i click raw data here then i will get this kind of data in my browser so you must be getting this kind of data in your browser so don't worry this is the kind of json data that we get from this all method so this is how you will return the raw data but if you want to return it in the form of a html document then you have to return a view so instead of returning dollar products i will write dollar return view and then the name of the view let's say i need to create a view so let's see i create a new view so the views folder is inside resources inside views directory and there is a file known as welcome.blade.php so i'll be opening this page only and i will print all the data inside this page so let's say i'll write here one division and inside this i'll be writing the code to display all the data so for that we have to write the name of the page that is welcome and then we need to pass the data to pass the data you have to provide an array of object here so i will provide an array let's say the key is p r o d and the value is this object that is getting returned that is dollar products so it's very easy to pass data to the view page we just need to pass an array to this welcome page and inside this welcome page we have to print the value of that object so whatever is returned from this is an object and we need to print any one column value to it let's say i'll write dollar prod and then i will print the name of the product because the column name is name name so i will be using that column name here if you want to print description also you can print description as well like dollar prod and then you can write description so it will print the description of the project sorry product so this is how you will create and you will pass the data into the view page so let's see whether we are getting the data or not so let's refresh this page so as you can see it is giving me a error oops so this error is coming that name property does not exist let's go to the code again and the error is okay so basically it is returning all the records in the form of a object it is an array of objects so we are passing array of objects as an array to this page so we have to loop we have to write here a loop so to loop we have to use at the rate for each we will be using for each loop and inside it we will be writing whatever we are passing from this page that is dollar prod so i'll write this dollar prod as dollar p let's say and now here i'll be printing dollar p and dollar p description so this is how you are going to print the values when you are passing it to a view page you pass it using the array and you print here using for each loop i forgot to end this for each loop you have to end this for each as well this is a syntax provided for blade and if you don't know blade will be shortly shortly uploading the video on blade template as well so don't worry we'll learn that also so let's try and execute again if we are getting all the products on the view page welcome so yes we are getting all the names and the description of the products in this view page if you need to write it in the next line you can use the break or the next line tag also if i write the break tag it should work and i should get the product names in the next line so i have two values and i'm getting those two values here so this is how you will show the values on the web page using the controller so in the next video we will be learning about resource controllers and how we can code using resource controllers thank you